Hey guys, Alan here, AMH Knives. Today we're going to talk about setting your backlash compensation using the Centroid software and the Acorn control board and a dial indicator on a magnetic base. Um, I'll dive into the software and then I'll show you how I uh, do it guys, with the machine. So what you're going to do, you're going to go into your setup, you're going to go into configuration, machine, motor, and you're going to look at your lash comp. When you start this, you're going to want all of these to be at zero. Mine are already set because that's what my lash is and the amount of time that I've taken to get there I'm not going to uh, delete it to show you but you set them all to zero and you're gonna back this baby out and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your dial indicator you're gonna press it up against um, your quill and the head or the head of the mill whatever you got um, and then you're gonna jog the machine over using the until it touches um, and you set pre, you basically preload your dial indicator. At this point, you're going to take the measurement of whatever wherever your indicator is. You don't need to zero it. Say you're at a thou or two thou or whatever. That's your place you're going to start at. You're going to switch over to incremental, and you're going to switch over to 10x. That's going to, uh, and you're going to move the machine 10 times using this. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're going to take and you're going to move it back ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you're going to see what your number is now. So if it has changed from your starting position till now um, that is your lash um, and you'll take that number put it in the backlash compensator and then do the same test again it's not very hard you just go through do the same thing put the dial indicator against it move it 10 times in incremental in 10 in 10x one direction and the back again and if it measures exactly the same then You've uh, set your backlash compensation correct, and you can move on to doing it for your uh, your Y and your Z until you get everything dialed in right on the money. So uh, I'll shoot the camera over and uh, show it uh, the machine doing that. All right, so I got my uh, Starrett dial indicator right on the head of the mill. I've already got it preloaded. It's on incremental. See, I'm at uh, two thou right now. What you'll do is you'll Take and you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Always in the same direction the entire time. Do not go back. If you move back by accident, you hit the wrong button, start over again because you've basically you've moved the lash of the machine. What you, what you want to do is preload the ball screw, the ball nut, any um, lash that you could have with your bearings or your coupler all in the same direction so then when you switch directions you can actually see the difference so then you'll take and you'll go back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that will give you a your lash number mine's right on the money because I've spent a lot of time getting it to that point um, but the main deal is that you want to take your time doing this don't just rush through this boom bang you're done all right you know it's close enough if you've taken the time to set your steps per inch and to do all this work on your machine take your time to get the backlash rate on the money because the closer you have it the less issues you're going to have with you know angles making perfect circles tolerances all that stuff comes into play with the backlash so it's basically if you don't take the time to do this I, it's you're just wasting your time basically you're gonna make crap parts uh, the machine doesn't know that it has lash and all machines have lash all the ball screws do these are supposed to be zero backlash screws and you can tell they are not I've got about a thousandths on the X which is it is not good uh, but it's just in the threshold of me being able to use the backlash compensator safely and to uh, not have any issues. If I was over, say a two thou, three thou, there's something wrong and you need to go back and you need to find out what it is. Is it the ball screw itself? Is it your 
your um, bearings are moving? Is your coupler not tight? Is your is your damn stepper or servo moving because you didn't tighten the screws all the way? It could be stupid stuff. Just take your time, set it up right, and you'll be much happier down the road and you won't be playing around with the machine wondering why I'm not cutting a nice circle. Well, you're not cutting a nice circle because you didn't take your damn time and set the comp right and you didn't set your, your steps per inch. Um, so or your, your revolutions per inch, sorry, I'm stuck in mock world, but, um, and just, you know, make it simple, it's not hard, but you take your time, and you'll do it right, and then you won't have to do this again, and you always want to do it in an area that you're going to work the most, like, I have mine set up here, this is where I usually do most of my work on this vice, is in the middle, or to the left hand side, because I got the car smarts, and I got the the other side, which I use my little mini like pallets almost to uh, for making my knife parts, so I use this side of the machine more. So you want to be close to where you work. You don't want to start at your home position and do your backlash comp, because it could be different over there than where you actually cut most of the time. So just keep that in mind when you set up and do this uh, this little operation here to to make sure you're you're right where you should be. Just a little. Right, guys, there. So that's just a quick way on doing backlash comp, getting yourself set up, to cut better parts. Uh, it's not hard. It doesn't take you know a month to figure this out. It just takes time, set up, and and you know put the work in, and you'll make better parts using the uh, the Centroid software and the Acorn board. So, until next time, I'll catch you later.